the two teams come out onto the field for this first home game at Haywood Road of 2018. It's a friendly in every sense of the word. The two clubs announcing the dual registration partnership will continue for 2018 this week. The two kits are looking pretty similar as well, which uh, could cause problems as the game goes on. Familiar faces for both sides. Swinton having to make some late changes to the team. Andy Braycheck pulling out, so Josh Barlow will replace him and the man originally named on the bench, Hayden Hansen, will come in at loose forward. Let's run through the Swinton team now quickly. They go with Fell, Butts, Hankinson, Tyson, Webb, Ansel, Jack Hansen, Josh Barlow, Luke Waterworth, Shelford, Worrell, Sarsfield and Hayden Hansen on the bench for Swinton. Taylor, Kane, Hall, Jellu and Nicholson. I'm assuming jo uh, Andy Braycheck won't be on the bench now. The minute silence, well observed. So let's run through the Wigan team now. They go with Mullen, Brown, Worthington, Higginson, Forsyth, Jake Shorrocks, Woods, Navarrett, Ganson, Field, Paisley, Davis and Partington on the bench. Kabula, Barnes, Hexford, Joe Shorrocks, Barron and Smithies. The numbers on the shirts, I think, are pretty much 1-13 to 13 for Wigan. Assuming they've stuck with the team sheet, which is quite useful. Black playing against dark blue, which isn't so useful. So the connections on both sides cause Forsyth, Woods, Paisley, Barnes and others have played for Swinton before. And with the dual registration, they may be playing for Swinton again this season. It'll be Wigan to kick us off, playing from left to right. Eventually we get underway, there's a, a light breeze. This afternoon, Jack Hansen takes the kick off and then Josh Barlow with the first carry. Barlow playing in the props instead of loose forward. Hayden Hansen going to loose forward. I don't know what the problem is with Andy Braycheck, but Roger Lloyd pulled out this morning because of food poisoning. So maybe it's a, a case of the same. We did have the team photo shoot yesterday and there were some pasties on offer. I'm hoping it wasn't them because the whole team could go down. Shelford, a former Wigan man, driving forward for Swinton. Shelford, Hanson, Waterworth, of course, come through the Wigan system. It's Waterworth at hooker at the moment. Swinton making steady progress up towards halfway. Barlow just stooping to take the pass, and he's well met, but that's a high tackle given against Partington, and then a bit of afters on the floor. The touch judge is coming on, but I think we'll be able to drag the two teams apart. The referee just standing back and watching with Partington with the high shot on Josh Barlow. The two teams pull each other apart and Swinton have a penalty and a chance to kick into Wigan territory. Josh Barlow gets a talking to from the referee. We can't make any progress. Good tackling from Callum Field. Inside we come again, Ansel. onto Tyson, Ansel was caught late. But Tyson keeps the ball alive, fell. Shrugs off the first attempted tackle, ducks under the second and then brought down a couple of metres short, Tyson tries to go himself. He is the probably the biggest player in the Swinton team, but he's not spotted that that was the last tackle. And it'll be a handover, good defensive work in the end from Wigan. Shelford moves it on to Ansel. Sarsfield finds an offload to Tyson, who juggles it, manages to keep hold and keep his feet. Determined play from Tyson, his face bright red as he tries to burst through. That's the last. Swinton needs to be smart on this play. Ansel kicks along the line, the wind just holds it up there and Swinton challenge for the ball, it's well taken by Hankinson who looks for support, he kicks against the fullback and as Jack Hansen tried to pick it up, he couldn't gather it cleanly. Central position, Waterworth will come out the back of the scrum, out it comes, Ansel on to Tyson who straightens up and charges to the line, three men it takes to bring him down. Waterworth in again, but Tyson doesn't like something that's gone on on the floor and he's making his feelings known. Sarsfield. Swinton looked to go inside this time. Tyson just jogs back into position. Waterworth pulls it back to Ansel. He throws the dummy. The bit of a miscommunication there. The pass never got away to Hayden Hansen. Ansel took the tackle. Waterworth onto Barlow. Finds an offload. Back to Waterworth, who scores against his former club. Good offload from Josh Barlow. We've seen a couple of them so far this afternoon. And Swinton open the scoring. It's Luke Waterworth, the former Wigan man. And Swinton four, Wigan nil. Ansel onto Tyson. Finds the ball out to Webb, who tries his speed up the wing. He's still going Webb and finds an inside ball to Sarsfield. 
Beautiful wing play from the Lions. It's Swinton, 10. Wigan, nil. Matt Sarsfield with another try. Good combination on the near side between Tyson and Webb. And Webb kept his cool. Showed good pace up the outside, but he knew he couldn't go it himself. Sarsfield, as all good second rowers do, was on support on the inside. And Swinton score again. A good start for Swinton now. Lovely combination on the near side, that. Ballow. Again, looking for an offload, trying to wrestle an arm free, but couldn't do it on that occasion. Waterworth with mud in his face. Taylor manages to break the first tackle before being dragged down in central field. Waterworth, good play again from Swinton. There's a chance here if Tyson can get the ball out, but he's well met by Forsyth, who'd stepped in off his wing to good effect. Waterworth tries the chip and chase. And Tyson's after it, he stops in the mud, Waterworth drops on it, he's kicked on by Ansel and then eventually Wigan pick it up. Inventive play there from Waterworth who's just stayed down on his knees and then Swinton penalised Shelford and Tyson just slowing things down a bit too much. So the referee stops the clock while Luke Waterworth receives some treatment. His first half is, is flying by. He looks a bit shaken, does Waterworth. He may need to come off for a head test. And that could be the end of his afternoon if he's got a concussion. And he will be seen by the doctor, so Swinton will have to change things at Hooker. Hayden Hansen coming on. Luke Waterworth has scored a try, but I don't think he knows what day of the week it is. So off he trudges. Back it comes. Forsyth wants it on the near side and it's a beautiful pass out to Liam Forsyth who gets Wigan's first try. Pass out the back door from the centre and Forsyth goes over. There's some pushing and shoving again. I don't think there's much in it that time. Kabula's there, he's not even touched the ball yet. But he wants some action with George Tyson. Helping there, and Swinton will find themselves back under their own posts. Infield it comes, Woods onto Kabula, who throws the dummy and sizes up Hayden Hansen, a bit of a mismatch, but Hansen does well to make the tackle. And Swinton are on their own line now. Heckford. Wigan again, just trying to barge their way up the middle. It's not a bad effort under the posts. Back they come this time, Woods with a flat pass and it's a simple finish. Good play from Wigan. Woods with a perfectly weighted pass. Expert halfback play from him. Wigan are back in it now. It's Swinton 12, Wigan 8 with the kick to come. By Matt Sarsfield. Higginson. The ball goes out. It looked like it may have been stripped. That play on says the referee. The Swinton play has stopped because it looked like it was stripped out. Well, this time the referee does go Swinton's way. I think he was ripped out. Nicholson goes down in the tackle and loses the ball. The Hooter goes. Heckford with the kick. Charge down. Back it comes to Barnes. Swinton just needs to kill it. But Wigan spotting an opportunity and they could be in here before the break. Webb's got to get across and just put the ball into touch, which he does. Swinton survived that moment of drama at half time. He's Swinton 10. Wigan, Swinton 12, Wigan 10. It's Wigan head and feed. Woods puts the ball in. Out he comes through Ganson. Forsyth. With a good pass out the back door. Swinton plenty men over there and it's out into touch. Good defence that from the Lions and, and it's a, a real melee on the far side. The fans are on their feet. All the players go rushing in. The touch judge from the near side has a long way to run. Not the best view from our position of what sparked that, but Wigan taken into touch. It's been brewing all afternoon that. And the referee has a decision to make now. Touch judge on the far side would have had a perfect view of that. So 
So it'll be Swinton head and feed at the scrum. The referee stops the clock while he consults with the officials. The referee's got some work to do. The side's still not really been kept apart. When he's still not been calmed down. Forsyth just being pulled away. And eventually the team's separated. So the uh, men in yellow have a decision to make. Not quite sure why they've had to come right into the centre of the field to have the discussion. They could have had it on the bit further over. But the and it's still something being said between the sides and the referee goes back across again. This isn't over yet. Matt Sarsfield absolutely furious at something. And they'll try and have that discussion again. There's still words being said across the divide. Sarsfield being dragged back now. He's absolutely furious at something. And he's been given 10 minutes to calm down by the referee. So Swinton down to 12. Don't be surprised if the referee just evens it up here. And he does. So 12 aside, it failed, I think, coming off for Wigan. No, he's not failed, it's Higginson. Higginson coming off. And we'll go back across. It should be a scrum on the far side. The ball was into touch. Well, he's given a penalty for something. I'm not quite sure what. Out it comes. Forsyth has a chance if they can get the ball out to him. But Kane does well again. Stepping in field and making sure the tackle's made. Kabula coming on for Wigan again. Back in field, the Warriors come. Good step. Shelford rushed out of the line and didn't make the tackle. And Barlow scrambles back to complete it for the Lions. Look to him forward that. Plenty of shouts from the crowd. Kabula picks up the loose ball. Hansen does well to drag him down. Woods goes left, flat ball to the wing and they're in on the near side. It's Worthington who scores it. The pressure eventually turning into points for Wigan. It did look as though there may have been a forward pass in the middle before that, but it's Wigan who score. Worthington finishes it. Wigan now lead by 14 points to 12. Just about building pressure, this for Swinton. They need to make sure they play the full set. Ansel, back to Hansen. Fell, brought down, 10 short. Central position, Hayden Hansen goes in. Jalou runs into Kabula. No way through that brick wall. Hayden Hansen, one-handed pick up. He spotted a gap there and he goes for the line. And I think he scored the young Australian, Hayden Hansen. Well, all that pressure Wigan had, it took them 15 minutes to score a try. Swinton have had 30 seconds of pressure and they've turned it into points. Swinton regain the lead. It's 16 points to 14 to the Lions with a kick to come. Quick work there from the Australian as the sun comes out to make him feel at home. Temperature is a bit different. It comes to Woods, moves the ball on, stoop and take from Barron. And Hankinson can get onto him, but it's a good offload that. And there's a chance for Worthington. It goes for the line. He's well tackled by Fell. It was a real opportunity that for Worthington. A terrific offload in the middle. We're going to have a dive for the line. The ball goes loose. Swinton just shovel it dead. A knock on will be given over the line. Ganson. 
coming to the left. And a roar goes up from the Wigan fans as Davis charges towards the line. Swinton are outnumbered on the near side. Kibula is close enough. He should be able to get over from there, and I think he has. Looked as though it was a try. The try is given. Kibula gets it. And Wigan take the lead. Well, they will take the lead if they can knock this kick over. 18 points apiece. He was close enough there, Kibula. He has the size. Swinton were never going to stop him to give any penalties away here and piggyback Wigan up the field well, there's a missed tackle in the middle and there's a real chance here Kane's struggling to get back he does really well the ball goes to ground and picked up by Shelford play on says the referee Swinton just needs to keep a cool head here Fell is best off just taking the tackle great work from Kane who come back and knocked the ball out of the Wigan hand I would have said that was play on well, Swinton giving head and feed the referee deciding it was a loose carry, but I think Kane deserves credit there for knocking the ball loose for the despairing dive. Wigan looking to work an opening on the far side. They had a, a wide overlap there, but couldn't get the ball out. Eventually it does go out, play on, says the referee. Good tackle in the middle from Hanson, but the touch judge has come on. There's nothing wrong with that. We're not playing netball. It was a good, strong tackle. Some good drives. Barlow just stuttering in his run there. Finds an offload back to Hayden Hanson, who took a high shot and then looks to continue. The referee, I think, will give him the penalty. And there's a bit of pushing and shoving as well from Partington. He looks quite a resilient character, Hansen. He's not the biggest and he has taken a few big hits in all the friendlies so far, but he seems to bounce off them, which is a good sign. Shelford to take the first carry for Swinton and it's a good one. Hansen in at acting half. He looks both ways and goes right. Taylor moves it on. There's a chance here for Swinton. They're over the line. If they've got the ball down, it's a try. The referee has a look and I think Swinton are in. Nicholson it is who scores it. He was close enough. He did well to get the ball down despite the efforts of the Wigan defence and Swinton take the lead. Good work there from the Lions. And Nicholson, I think that's his first try in Swinton Colours. I don't remember him scoring at the back end of last season. Marcus Webb gets the ball back. Hankinson with the tap and spots that the Wigan line were on the heels. Had a good game this afternoon, Chris Hankinson. And he's got Swinton in a good position there. Hayden Hansen pulls it back. Jack Hansen onto Ansel. Chance for Tyson to get the ball wide. Kane goes for the corner. He dies for glory and Kane scores his first Swinton try. Good move from the Lions. They suckered Wigan in. And they've won it on the far side now. It's Swinton 28, Wigan 20 with the kick to come. The crowd below has enjoyed that as well. I think the Wigan players realise the jig's up for them. Wind blowing towards the Wigan team, so they've got to give it a bit more. Well, they don't even try the short one. They've gone for the mid-range kickoff. Ansel takes it well. As well met. Good tackle there from the onrushing Wigan man. Shelford, who's had another strong performance in the second row for Swinton. Or oh, prop. One of the middles, as they call them now, the definitions between the forward roles have been blurred in recent years. Nicholson just brought down inside his own 40. Hayden Hansen goes left. Taylor. Put on his back, the Hooter goes. And that's the end of the game. A good win for Swinton. They weren't at their best. Certainly had to weather a lot of Wigan pressure in the second half. They will be a bit disappointed. They didn't make better use of the ball at times, but defensively they've shown a lot of resolve this afternoon. Both sides shake hands at the end of an interesting game. A good friendly that kept the neutrals interested right to the end. Both sides will get a lot from it. And I suspect several of those Wigan players will feature for Swinton at some point this season.
which tries in the second half from Hayden Hansen, Anthony Nicholson and Elliot Kane were enough for the Lions. Full time at Haywood Road. It's Swinton 28, Wigan 20.